live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to SmackDown Live. We are live from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and we're kicking things off with the SmackDown Live commissioner, Shane McMahon, as he's looking to break in and getting ready for his matchup with the Night Wolf. Well, tonight he, or well, tonight he wanted this matchup against the former Intercontinental Champion, Zack Ryder, and Tag Team Champion, Zack Ryder, tonight to kick things off on SmackDown Live as Shane McMahon wants to break it in and get, and he's, he's getting ready for the Night Wolf in two weeks time, ladies and gentlemen. Money in the Bank is almost here. He looks to break it in. Coming up next here on SmackDown Live. I a brief interrupt. We break right there as we're just getting things started as we kick it back to ringside. That was my little announcer, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Cold Train. As here comes the Lion. Shane McMahon, Kevin Owens, man, that sent money in the bank for the SmackDown Live side, and the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Sami Zayn. The big story here about Shane McMahon is that he'll be all alone come money in the bank. No help. Nightwolf will be gone. I'm sorry. Sami Zayn will be fighting for the Intercontinental Championship. Kevin Owens will be in money in the bank. Shane McMahon has nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. We finally get the match that we were supposed to see it at, at, at Backlash coming full circle two months later. But Shane said he's not worried. He's going to bring something that, that you've never seen to the table. And he'll show that tonight against Long Island IZ, Zack Ryder, it's the Alliance. Look at that stare, they're ready to see their leader in action tonight on SmackDown Live. That's going to be against former SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Zack Ryder. With Mojo Riley joining him. Two New Yorkers going at it. One from New York City and one from Long Island, New York. And Zack Ryder, Long Island Light C, going at, going in action against the commissioner of SmackDown Live. Hi, Bros. Challenge for the SmackDown Tag Team Titles at Extreme Rules. Came up against short against TN61. Then lost in the first round of the Tag Team Tournament last week as well. So they're out of that as well. So Hi, Bros. Looking for some momentum as they try to rebuild their stock here on the blue brand. We'll see if they can do that here. Shane McMahon is ready. He's ready to prove the world that he that he still got it. And he'll be fake taking on Zack Ryder here as Zack Ryder posing to the fans here. And here goes Shane on Max Shane. Oh! Taking Zack Ryder down. And now Zack. Oh, Shane McMahon with the big shots to Long Island IC. Zack Ryder trying to prove a point. He's trying to basically take down the commissioner here. This is going to be a tough task here, going up against Shane McMahon. Oh, this is Shane McMahon, first one-on-one -on -one match since WWE 2K17 Survivor Series. Oh, and a big power bomb there by Shane as he was dealing with a creative issue and had to take care of it. It's former SmackDown Legend of Andre. They were fighting over control at Survivor Series. That's the last Shane McMahon, last one-on-one -on -one match. Let's look at this. Looks like he still has it though. They're in, I forgot to guy mentioned that it was in universe mode. Let's look at this. Uh, Mojo Riley with a distraction on Shane and Shane McMahon. 
McMahon not phased by the distraction. Picking up Ryder and slamming him down. The commissioner of SmackDown Live showing that he still got it. Nightwolf and Night Nightwolf Jr. are not here tonight. As they'll be where there is both of them are at home. Oh, boom! Oh, here is an angle slam there by Shane. And Shane is on fire right now. Look at this. Shane McMahon. Big form smash to Zack Ryder. And now, as he's waiting for Zack Ryder to get back up to his feet. Nightwolf, you better be paying attention. Look at this. Shane McMahon. Look at the shots. Oh! This is against a former Intercontinental Champion and Shane who has the rest of the one-on-one -on -one match in over a year and a half. There's a kick out at one there by Zack Ryder. Now elbow to the hard body by Shane. And the Alliance, <laughs> Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are enjoying everything that their leader is putting on tonight. Because you look at the power from Shane as he's picking up Zack Ryder. Keep in mind there will be no rules at Money in the Bank. It's Shane McMahon posing onto the fans. Oh, in the corner. Now look at this. Shane in the middle of the ring. Caught him. Caught him. Submission hole locked in. Locked in tight. Will Zack Ryder tap out? Can you imagine if Shane makes Ryder tap out here? This is some innovative from Shane. We've never seen this before. Look at this. Got it locked in tight. Who's Ryder tap? Looks like he's on the curve of tapping. Oh. Ryder trying to hold on. But Ryder, he taps out. McMahon impressive on SmackDown. What a win there by Shane. As Zack Ryder didn't even hit the Rough Rider of the Broski boot. Shane McMahon just straight up took him down. Look at that submission hole grabbing the arm and the lid the, and putting the legs right over Ryder's head. Ryder had no choice but to tap out. Look at this and Shane wanted that one and night wolf to see that because that could be his fate. Come money in the bank. Massive win by the Alliance member Shane. And the question is, could all three of these men walk out victorious in Chicago? We'll find out in two weeks time at Money in the Bank. Look at this. This could be the sight in Chicago. But just Sami Zayn holding the Intercontinental Championship. Kevin Owens missed the Money in the Bank. And Shane McMahon getting rid of Nightwolf for good. Well, guys, coming up next, we got to move on here on SmackDown Live. As it's a challenge by the Curtis Axel here. As he is challenging the number one contender for the WWE Championship, Kurt Angle, to a one-on-one -on -one match here live on SmackDown Live. Axel requested this match saying that he can beat the Olympic gold medalist and the Olympic gold medalist has gone soft especially after last week with his promo with The Undertaker where Kurt Angle looks to prove that he is quote unquote here every week and that Undertaker and that Undertaker is never here as he looks to defeat Curtis Axel coming up next and we do know next week on Smackdown Live The Undertaker will be back in action for the first time since Backlash against Baron Corbin. Well, never mind that fact as here comes the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. Massive reaction. Following contest is scheduled for one for Mega Man to win first from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He is the only Olympic gold medalist in universe mode history. Kurt Angle. Angle was labeled soft after his promo with The Undertaker saying that why didn't he, did he attack the dead man? Why did he attack the dead man after the Undertaker's comments last week calling Undertaker, uh, calling Kurt Angle, calling Kurt Angle weak. 
Well, Angle said that he ain't weak, and he, he's proven that by showing up every single week. Kurt Angle said the reason why this, the detention is so high is because he said that if if he was in this undertaker position and he was WWE champion, he would have shown up even with those broken ribs and that severe head injury that Undertaker had at Backlash. He would have still been here after Backlash defending that WWE championship. And that's what the fans agree on. Taker was not here for a full month here in Universe Mode. That's what Kurt Angle so angry about because that could have been him. He could have been defending that WWE championship. Well, Kurt Angle not the football but Undertaker for one night here as he got to shut up the prospect, Curtis Axel. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Curtis Axel. Well, Curtis Axel has been in a lot of high profile matches with the likes of Apollo Crews, teaming with his partner Bo Dallas in tag team matches and so much more here on SmackDown Live. And he has called out the Olympic gold medalist to a matchup here on SmackDown. This could be Curtis, it could be Curtis Axel biggest break here in Universe Mode. Could you imagine if he can beat the Olympic gold medalist one-on-one -on -one tonight? That would be awesome for this young man's career. We're about to find out right now if he can do it. He is posing. He's posing to the WWE Universe. And also for his singles career. Axel, and, Axel told me that Axel and Dallas are coming in the SmackDown Tag Team Division. And look out for them. They may they might edge your name out in this tag team tournament as there is Axel slamming down Kurt Angle. And we do know after the qualifying matches are done, Team 6-1 returns to SmackDown Live. As they'll be watching the finale of the tag team tournament. So look out for that, ladies and gentlemen. Team 6-1 will be back on SmackDown for the finale of the tag team tournament to see who they'll be facing. At Battleground, a SmackDown Live exclusive pay-per-view. So Undertaker's coming back next week. Kurt, Kurt, Kurt Angle will have the week off next week. Taker will be back against Baron Corbin for his first match since Backlash. And, um, oh, it's Curtis. Look at that, look at that massive reaction for Kurt Angle here in Colorado Springs. Let's look at that big superplex inside the ring to Curtis Axel. And... I got two, or that could be it right here. And Kurt Angle kicked out at, Kurt, uh, Curtis Axel kicked out at two. And uh, Team 6-1 make their return in two weeks time for the last SmackDown Live before Money in the Bank. So massive shows coming here in the next couple of weeks. Oh, that's good angle. Move to the, move to the outside here. And Curtis Axel, Axel being the aggressor here. DDT. To Kurt Angle and Angle has touched what about the roll out. You can see Axel dropping the throat here. We about we'll find out who the Hardy Boys will be facing. Oh, as, as Axel slamming down Kurt Angle in the cover one and a kick out at one by Angle. As Sandy and Brizongo compete in the second match of round one of the tag team tournament. We'll see who the Hardy Boys will be facing next week. Coming up later on tonight. Curtis Axel, Curtis Angle. You can see here the drive and motivation here. He's just trying to send a message to the Undertaker. And Angle, oh, elbow drop. Beautiful elbow drop here. Cover one. Got him two. And Axel kicked out at two. Now, you know, Curtis Axel. Big shot right to the face. Form smash there from Axel. You can see in Axel face the drive and motivation here. He's taking it. To Kurt Angle. Oh, good lord. Wrenching the neck there of Kurt Angle. Now, Axel. Could be going for another neck breaker here. Oh, shades of his father there. Mr. Perfect with the angry and brash. And shades of gold dust there with that benches neck breaker. Oh, yeah, Angle is in the, in the corner here. Axel. Could you imagine? Could be closing in on the, on the victory here. In the corner goes Curtis Axel. And Kurt Angle struggling. Axel trying to take him down. Uh oh, going for those big bulldogs. Bang right to the face. Oh my god, upset city here. Oh my goodness. In Colorado, he got him though. I thought he had him. Kick out at two by Kurt Angle. That's a massive kick out. Oh, Axel, go for the perfect flex. Counter by Angle. Angle with the counter. And Angle's got him up. 
Eagle Slam. Cover. Two that could do it. And it does. Masterful counter there by Kurt Angle. And he defeats Kurt Axel on SmackDown. That was an awesome counter there by Kurt Angle as he takes down the, the, the son of Mr. Perfect, Curtis Axel. What a match between those two. Back and forth counter here and Axel almost put away the Olympic gold medalist. Meaning and Kurt Angle found a way to get the victory. It kicked out at two. Kind of the perfect flex. Beautiful counter. Right into the Olympic slam. The angle slam. Bang! The Olympic hero is victorious on SmackDown. I hope the Undertaker was watching that because that could be your fate. Have money in a bank. Dead man, where you at? As Angle's victorious on SmackDown Live. That's going to be an awesome match. That money in the bank. A rivalry renewed from 10 years ago. At money in the bank. Now it's time for our first... Women's Money in the Bank Money in the Bank qualifying matchup tonight here as I'm waiting for my producer to be these two to yes. Coming up next it's gonna be Charlotte taking on the eccentric Nikki Cross this should be a very very interesting matchup here as Nikki Cross look to catch her in head and become Miss Money in the Bank here, representing Sandy here. Last week, we seen Peyton Roy, I believe it was Peyton Royce, qualify for the Women for SmackDown Live. Who will become the second woman to qualify for the Women's Money in the Bank for SmackDown Live? Will it be Charlotte or will it be the eccentric Nikki Cross? We're about to find out. Coming up next. Here we go, as the crazy, eccentric, Nikki Cross makes her way down to the ring here, and I get creeped out every time I see this entrance. I laugh. Ugh. Makes her way down to the ring, and like I seen last week with, Nick, with Nikki Bella, after she got upset at anything can happen when the money in the bank qualifies on the line. They will, they will join on the raw side, Nia Jax. And... That's what they also will join on the raw side if they win this match. Nia Jax, um, Peyton Royce and company already in the women's money in the bank. And oof, it's going to be a crazy, crazy matchup, man. I can tell you that now. The first of its kind, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big first time ever here. Oh, yeah. So, if, so yeah. If Nikki Cross wins, she will join Nia Jax, Peyton Royce. And get this, ladies and gentlemen. Summer Rae. And she scored the biggest upset of the year last night at Monday Night Raw when she defeated. Ugh. Oh, look at that here. Cross is ready here. And she scored the biggest upset of the year when she defeated Trish Stratus last night. On Monday Night Raw. Who will join her? Will it be Nikki Cross or Charlotte? For the second woman in a SmackDown Live. Women's division. Next week we'll have a massive triple threat. To see who gets the final spot for SmackDown. So if I would women. You don't have to worry about that tonight. As Nick Ruby Riot. Naomi. And Becky Lynch. Battle for the final spot. In the women's Money in the Bank. And. From the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. A very, very intriguing final three battling for the SmackDown Live women's spot. The last spot for the SmackDown Live women's division. It's going to be awesome to see. Also, next week we have a triple threat to determine the final spot for the 
men's money in the bank for SmackDown Live as well. As rumored that we're going to have some returns. And I will kick things off next week on SmackDown. So don't miss SmackDown Live as we have the final men's and women's qualifying matches. But tonight we're worried about to see who will join the, the, other, the other three women already in the match. As we still got two more spots to fill in the women's money in the bank. We got tonight's to tonight's to tonight's spot and then we got next week's women's spot and then for the women's money in the bank it will be filled by next next week on SmackDown Live. Same with the men. And then on the final round SmackDown Lives respectively. The three women the three women from for the three women from Raw will complete the triple threat match and the three men from Raw also complete the triple threat match to see who can build momentum towards their money in the bank matches and that will be the same for Smackdown Live so you guys do not want to miss the action make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel tap those post notifications on there's going to be a bumpy ride as we get to money in the bank as Nikki Cross with the, with the shots here on Charlotte Oh, oh, oh my god. Look at the craziness of Nikki Cross. But Cross, she just doesn't care. Taking down Charlotte once again. And Charlotte, Charlotte struggling so far in this match. As Nikki Cross has got a beat. Charlotte going for a spear connects. Massive spear already. Cover on Nikki. Two could have her. No. Nikki Cross connect I hit with a spear. And Charlotte is in trouble. Cross with the counter. But Charlotte, big forearm. And already, guys, this matchup just gotten started. Figure eight. Figure eight. Figure eight locked in. Figure eight locked in, in the middle of the ring. What's Cross going to do? This crowd can't believe it. Nikki Cross might tap out here. But Cross, Cross, balance. She's not going to give up. Oh, big shot right to the face of Charlotte. Cross has got Charlotte in trouble. Turns her through. Oh, good night. One, two. Oh, I thought Cross had her. Charlotte back up to her feet. But Cross immediately, immediately caught her. This could do it for Charlotte. Go for the big move. Oh, but no. Has rolled up Cross. Oh. Cross kicked out at one. Charlotte has got a brew breeding in battle. What a match this has been so far. Cross with the counter. She went for the figure eight. I'm sorry, natural selection. Cross with the counter and a battery round. Cover. Could have shot. Oh my God. And um, a little bit of a brief interruption right there, ladies and gentlemen. And see we go. Nikki Cross has caught Charlotte once again. Oh, turns her through again. Nikki Cross is about to score the upside of the year. Look at this. Cross from the top row. One, two. She got her. She got her. She's going to money in a bank. One and up. When I see. What an upset! This was a massive upset, ladies and gentlemen! Cross is headed to Money in a Bank! And she beat Charlotte! I can't believe it! The Sandy Takeover may have begun! It has two upsets in a row as major players! Who you would think will be in the first ever women's money in the bank match. Can't get it done. 
Oh my God! This is this a week of upsets? My goodness! Guys, I'm gonna move on to us, uh, Nikki Cross. We're gonna move on to a uh, Sandy Brother here as we got the tag team tournament second matchup in the first round here as Breezango will be taking on Sandy. Question is, which member of Sandy will be here as all four members of Sandy is here live in the building tonight in Colorado Springs? Who will be fighting for Sandy as in this tag team tournament? The winner. We'll fight the Hardy Boys next week. And the winner of that will fight the Ascension in the finale to see who will fight TM61 at Battleground. Goodness gracious, what a night it has been. As here comes, it's Tyler. Tyler Breeze and Fandango. Breezango. Here they come. I get my dance on. Live in Colorado Springs. Following con tag team contest is part of the SmackDown Live Tag Team Tournament. Making way right down to the ring first. Tyler Breeze and Fandango. Breezango. Massive opportunity for Brizongo to become number one contenders for the SmackDown Tag Team titles, but that's not going to be easy because you got to take on the dominant, destructive Sandy, who is taking no prisoners in this run on SmackDown Live. Brizongo, I wish you luck tonight. Tyler Breeze says it's going to be Selfie City in New Jersey. For the SmackDown Live exclusive review when they become the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. You have confidence, but Breeze, but Breeze, I wish y'all luck. Oh my goodness, this, the post already out for, for Sandy here. That's the full group making their way down to the ring. And look at that reaction. From five, in my opinion... One of the best tag teams, besides our tag team champions, on SmackDown Live. Oh, this is going to be scary, ladies and gentlemen. Here. Here comes Sandy. Oh, oh my God. All four of them are here. And there you go. Look like it's going to be the team that teamed on main event this past Wednesday. Coltrane and Eric Young are here in the building. As Alexander Wolf and Killian Dane joined them. That's the thing if Sandy has the free bird rule. That means which means any combination can team. For the SmackDown Tag Team titles, they, they all are SmackDown Tag Team titles champions in their eyes. That what makes this group so dominant. Could you imagine? If Sandy become the most of the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Nikki Cross wins the women's money in the bank and she catches and becomes SmackDown Live Women's Champions. SmackDown Women's Champion. Sandy could hold two-thirds of all the championships on SmackDown Live. And let's say Killian Dane goes up the United Kingdom Championship. Not saying he will, but let's say he does. They can hold almost every title could, that, that, that is conceivable. It's coaching running around like that craziness on SmackDown Live, which would be very interesting. But Tyler being the final dog, I'm not worried about that right now. That's just coach training Breeze starting things out. And if I were Tyler Breeze, I wouldn't want to be here right now as train neck breaker already in this matchup. And these look like they on Sandy look like they wanna don't want to waste that much time putting away the the, the, the Breeze on go. Still a come here. Bobby Roode still makes his with 
his return to in-ring action as the glorious one will grace us with his presence for the first time since he took out the perfect team, Todd Ninja. I also have an update on Todd Ninja as he suffered a, um, a rib injury after that AA off the ladder. How long would the perfect team be out? I'll let you guys know when coming up next. As Bizon goes in trouble here as I'm back commentating you guys. Let's look at this. Tag made to Eric Young as the shoulder tackle here. Wait, 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 what is Fondango doing? Oh my god. Fondango just being feed to the wolves. Oh goodness. Oh man! Super kick. Fandango, you can you tell me you're gonna you're gonna make the you're gonna you gonna make the tag? I guess not. Train to the from the trainer. That big train fully connect DDT. Good riddance. Tyler Breeze and Fandango have just been absolutely destroyed. One, two, three. Oh, my God. And they move on in a, in a tag and a SmackDown Tag Team Tournament. Next week, they'll take on the Hardy Boys to see who will fight the Ascension in the finale. God, they just destroyed them. They were dominant on SmackDown in our main event this past Wednesday. They bash it up again. Tonight on SmackDown Live in Colorado Springs. Wow. Good luck to everybody else in the SmackDown Tag Team Tournament. Wow. Massive win by Sam. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, the glorious one. Bobby Roode makes his return to Universal for the first time to the Extreme Rules. Coming up next, as the glorious IC champion graces us with his presence. Are you ready? Hallelujah! He's back! He's back! Yes! Yes! One more after this. Yes! Shh! Let him sing! Sing! He's here! The glorious Intercontinental Champion! So good to see him! Cause he's so what? Oh my goodness, I missed him! Colorado Springs, Colorado is on their feet! Not a single person in this arena is sitting down. Oh my goodness, I'm happy. I'm happy. It's so good to see him back. Rude is here. 
this is a real champion. A man that can back it up in the ring. And the, the one that will stop the alliance. The glorious Bobby Roode. Do the walk. Do the walk with him. Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm smiling and post-smiling in Colorado. Yeah, Alliance. You might have Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, but you don't have the glorious Bobby Roode. And next week on SmackDown Live, Roode talks about his match with Sami Zayn. Don't miss SmackDown next week. It's huge. It's going to be glorious. Oh my goodness. I, I, I should tell this a glorious return. It's hallelujah. This is great. I was so enthused at least doing I forgot about this. I forgot about Baru having a match tonight. <laughs> and tonight he'll be taking on Aiden English, formerly of the uh, Rusev day, but apparently Aiden English has been traded to SmackDown Live. So he's a SmackDown Live superstar from Chicago, Illinois. Is Aiden English, and we'll see what he's got in store for the glorious Bobby Roode. As English, there is much little time going after the Bobby Roode here, but Roode is waiting on him. And here we go, this match is getting started. Still, it come out main event evening. Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt, a rematch from, from Extreme Rules on the pre-show. Can't wait for that one. But first, we got to get to Bobby Roode. Roode looking to make a statement tonight. Taking out Aiden English. This is great. How, 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 how come you don't like this guy? This guy is awesome. Because he does have the biggest ego in the world, but I'm a Bobby Roode fan. I like Bobby Roode. It's great. I was so happy. I was happy when he was announced for the card. And he with a superplex. Taking him down. This glorious in the Continental Championship reign will not end that money in the bank. I hope Rude knocks, knocks Sami Zayn teeth in. Oh! oh. English getting taken down by Bobby Rude on a spear. And Rude looks, looks, looks like he hasn't lost a sweat from that Ty Dillinger match. It was brutal. It was... It was, he was bruised and battered, but Rude says a glorious champion doesn't miss that many weeks. He took the week off because the fans didn't really need to see Bobby Rude last week. Of course, Sami Zayn was for the new look, so that's the reason Sami Zayn took his spot in the card. That's why we didn't see Bobby Rude last week. Neck breaker by Rude. And Rude is making quick work of Aiden English here. Good Lord. Aiden English has no business in Bobby Rude's ring. This is Bobby Roode's time. Glorious spine buster. Ball game. One, two. Oh, English. Showing some fight. But up. Uh, uh oh. Do you know? Do you, do you know who rang this is? Say it with me. Glorious. This is the glorious one ring. Arguably two of the most hated guys in the company. Go at it at Money in the Bank, but Rude doesn't care. Makes quick work of Aiden English. Glorious! That's why you like this guy. This guy's awesome. Massive win. Boom! I'm stalling it for a foul and I'm enjoying myself. My right, guys, uh, don't, don't miss main event as um, Alistair Black makes his return. This will be in action. Also, we have a big six-man tag for the Cruiserweights in the main event of main event. So, don't miss main event tomorrow evening. So, make sure you guys check that one out. But the glorious Bobby Roode is victorious tonight. Okay, Rude, do the walk, do, 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 do the walk, Rude, do the walk, yeah! Oh, I'm doing it too. I'm doing it in my commentary this. Yeah! Glorious! 
This is the Bobby Root I like. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, as apparently I have supporters in the background as keep talking while we're doing this video, it's gonna be the United Kingdom Champions on the line, the main event of the evening, the Edo yes, Worlds. Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor. She helps me control all aspects of the match. Yeah, it's awesome. But it's coming up next. It's the main event of the evening. Can Balor retain his United Kingdom Championship? And make it to the Money in the Bank matchup. Money, I mean, make it to the Money in the Bank. Um, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, it's not, it's not a game change on the line. And make it to the Money in the Bank ladder match for the men. This, this is a qualifying match and the UK titles on the line. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Lord. Ray White scared the crap out of me there. Like he always does. So I couldn't finish that. I was gonna put um. Yeah, say I was gonna about to say this is a Money in the Bank qualifying match and a and the United Kingdom title is on the line as well. This is a rematch from the Extreme Rules pay per view: the Demon King versus the Eater of Worlds. Yeah. This is going to be very interesting. This is going to be very, very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. As Bray Wyatt lost his United Kingdom Championship at Extreme Rules on the pre show, and now he's looking for his rematch. He said him and Finn Balor are not done until he says so with that eerie laugh. I, I asked Bray Wyatt. What does he think of the, the man's money in the bank match? He, 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 he did, it's exactly what he did. Quote. <laughs> Follow the buses. That's exactly what he told me. He said, Follow the buzzards. Now, again, I don't know what Bray Wyatt's psyche is, but he did just lose his, he did, he did just lose his, you know, I can't even title, but he doesn't care. This is the main event of the evening as SmackDown Live becomes Balor Club. Here we go. As the brand new United Kingdom champion makes his way down to the ring. It's so good to see gold around Finn Balor's waist once again. As Balor Club comes around, y'all gonna do it with me? Yeah, y'all gonna put your hands in the air? Okay, y'all ready? And here he comes. Worldwide goes up. <laughs> here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's made up in time, and this crowd is on their feet. Fifteen thousand seven hundred and eighty-eight. Of the WWE Universe on tag for Balor Club. I was happy with Finn Balor. It took one year. It took over six months to get a championship again after he lost his Intercontinental Championship at Night of Champions in 2K17. So good to see gold around Balor's waist again as Balor Club is cheering him on as he could be placed. And the money in the bank ladder match as well. This place has come unglued. But folks, here we go. UK title on the line. Who will become who will be our United Kingdom champion and make it to the money in the bank pay-per-view? Bray Wyatt's really the only defense of the United Kingdom Championship this month, but it will be defended next month at WWE Battleground, live in New Jersey. Can't wait for that one. Wyatt's ready. And the Demon King is also ready. Mm. 
Oh my goodness. Title on the line. Balor comes alive. As he defends this title in the main event. No Demon King. Balor said it wasn't needed. We'll see if that's the case. Here we go. Tweet with us live. Tweet this matchup. Balor versus Wyatt. Main event time. As Finn Balor. Finn Balor trying to make quick work of the eater. Of Walter. After the, after the counter at Extreme Rules. When Finn Balor, an emotional Finn Balor, won the answer con the United Kingdom title, he said he won't give it up for the world. And he will love to make it to the money and the bank ladder match as well he was retaining his title. That's the incentive that Shane McMahon gave these guys. He said, he said, he said Balor, you defend that title. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make you earn it since they're probably gonna be in the challenges left. Since money in the bank is uh, and, I, and I don't want to over the talent. So you know what? You can go into the men's money in the bank ladder match. Same with the European title. The European title will not be defended. The Royal Exclusive title will not be defended at Money in the Bank as well. Oh, it's in the neck breaker there. But it will be defended at their Raw Exclusive pay-per-view fast month next month. So we got brand exclusive pay-per-views next month. Don't miss them. As Finn Balor already, already on the roll here. Taking down Bray Wyatt. Oh, could we see that running drop kick? Bray Wyatt in trouble already here and Balor is about to retain uh oh Balor connects coup de gras could this be the shortest title match in universe world history but Wyatt somehow gets the shoulder up I was about to say this is the shortest title match in universe mode history even shorter than the AOP matches. And holes are very short. Oh, oh, but Bray Wyatt almost lost just like that. We're just getting warmed up on commentary. And they're right. My goodness. But Bray Wyatt trying to fight back here. Oh, Bray Wyatt. That's rolling thunder there. Vintage RVD there. He was currently in TNA right now in this universe. Oh, look at this, a little the Wyatt. Oh, big shot there. And a back and forth between Bray Wyatt and Finn Balor. Finn Balor being a more aggressive. He's not getting more dominated like he was in the last match at Extreme Rules. Finn Balor's all about, oh, going after that Money in the Bank briefcase. He knows champions are made with that. Balor could be the Money in the Bank briefcase holder and United Kingdom champion and is guaranteed to become WWE champion. In Universe Mode, all of our number, Money in the Bank winners have become champion. No one has failed thus far. One, as Balor could have him. Balor, Bray Wyatt could have him. And Balor kicked out at two. Bray Wyatt almost got his championship back there. But Finn Balor, he's not giving in here. Oh, it's just that these two just... Just know each other so well. They're not getting to that second gear. As Bray Wyatt slamming him down. Finn Balor's in trouble. Uh oh. I think we're about to see it. Oh, Sister Abigail. Abigail's promise. And he kicked out at one. Wyatt can't believe it. It's like the Demon King. Has come out to play. Oh, Bray Wyatt, he's not phased. He's not phased at this Finn Balor. Look at this Wyatt Balor, not phased at all. Sling blade. This crowd is on their feet. Finn, 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 chance. Balor, reverse. 1916. And he follows that up. You know what's coming next. Balor says no more. Oh, but Bray Wyatt wants to get up. Balor changes his mind. Forward, 1916. Bray Wyatt is out. Finn Balor's about to retain. And 
hits a money in the bank. He does it. He does it. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's official. It's going to be Finn Balor added into the Money in the Bank ladder match as he joins Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, and Kevin Owens as our four does for who's going to qualify for the final two spots in the Money in the Bank ladder match for both the Raw side and SmackDown side. We will find that out at next week. Good night for Colorado Springs, Colorado, as Balor retains.